Hi everyone, welcome back to a new Game Maker Studio video tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how to implement animations with code, like this one. We do this basically applying scaling and rotation effects. So let's begin. Okay, let's start creating a sprite. I'll use this rooster image. Let's name it Rooster. Click on the center button and OK. Now let's create an object. Let's name it OBJ Rooster. I'll assign the Rooster sprite to this object. And now I'm going to create a create event for variable initialization zoom factor and zoom increment I'm going to initialize this variable with the following values 0 0.5 and zero, mm, zero point zero five, I think. That that be okay. Now let's add a step event. Okay. I'll start increasing the zoom factor. Zoom factor zoom in increment okay now I have to control I have to limit the zoom factor value in order to do this I'm going to write the following line of code zoom if zoom factor is greater than one or if zoom factor is less than 0 0.5 then zoom increment is equal to minus zoom increment okay and now I have to assign this zoom increment variable to the image x scale and image y scale. Zoom factor. And now I have to do the same with the image y scale and it's done now i have no rooms in my project yet so i'll create one let's create a room let's add the ovj rooster um okay now let's let's take a look at how it looks let's wait and um, there you have it you can see it the sprite is being shown with a scaling with a, a uniform scaling effect applied on it now i'm going to tweak this scaling effect a little bit in order to obtain a more appropriate scaling effect for this rooster sprite uh, I mean I, I don't really like how it looks now it, it looks just like the arrow if you remember at the beginning of this video I showed you an arrow with the same scaling effect it looks like a zooming in zooming out effect well 
that was okay for the arrow, but it doesn't really look nice with the roster. So I'm going to modify it. I think that for this particular case, uh, vertical scaling effect will look better. So in order to perform a vertical only scaling effect, I'm going to comment this line out. And the other thing I want to do is to lower the center of the sprite, lower the region of the sprite, to the feet of the rooster. Okay. Now it should look better. Let's see it. Well, there you can see it. In my opinion, it looks uh, it, it looks better now. So basically, this is what I wanted to show you: how to perform a uniform scaling effect on a sprite, and well, in this last case, it's a non-uniform or vertical scaling effect. You can try them both and see which one works better for you. So, this is all what I wanted to show you in this video. And as you can see, this is very easy. It's a very affordable way to animate sprites with code. So, I hope you find this video useful and See you in upcoming video tutorials. Mm -hmm.